Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of interpreting numeric data. This is standard 6.13a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a box plot, sometimes called a box and whisker plot, and it's just a different way to show data. And so we need to find a statement that is best supported by the data, but first let's figure out what our data actually says. So we actually have data, and it ranges from 15, so that's our very lowest piece of data, up to 30. That's our biggest piece of data. And what you need to see is that there are four sections, or there are four quartiles here. Four quarters would be another way to say it. And so each section or each quartile is not exactly spread out evenly based on the data. But each section represents one-fourth or 25% of our data. So we've got our first quartile here. I'm just going to put first. It ranges from 15 to 20. So 25% of our data sits between 15 and 20. Now take a look at our second quartile here. It goes from 20 to 22. So the spread there is only 2. It only goes from 20 up to 22, whereas the first quartile goes from 15 to 20. They don't have to be spread across evenly because we don't know what the data set looks like on the back side. We're just seeing this representation. So here's another 25%. But since we add the 25 and the 25, what we need to see here is right here. This 22, this is halfway through. And that 22 is actually going to be your median, because that's what your median is. It's whatever is sitting right at that 50th percentile. So that 22 is going to be very important. That's why it's in the middle of the box. Then we have our third quartile, and it goes from this dot to this dot, so it's going to range from 22 up to 25. It's going to be another 25%. And then finally, our final quartile is going to be from that 25 up to 30, and it's going to be a pretty big spread, kind of like it was from 15 to 20. So what we see here is that our box right here. It's called a box and whisker because it's got a box. This box represents everything from the end of the first quartile to the third quartile. And so we've got about half of our data is sitting right inside here and the other half is sitting on the whiskers. So, so that's why sometimes it's called the box plot or the box and whiskers plot. And so we're just looking at this box to represent the middle 50% on either side of the median. So that's what this box plot says. Once we know all that, answering these questions are going to be fairly simple. So approximately 50% of the finishing times were less than 25 minutes. Well, here is my 25 minutes. And so let's take a look right here. And as you can see, that's actually not going to work. That's actually 75%. Because it's that third quartile right there. So that represents 75%. If you wanted to keep that 50%, you could have said 50% were less than our median of 22. But no, either way, that's not going to work. G, one-fourth, or this 25%, so that's where it's going to help us, were greater than 28. Well, look at my 28 right here. 28 is sitting in the middle of that fourth quartile. If they had changed this maybe to 25, we could make that work, because that would have been one-fourth. But no, this 28 is in the middle of a quartile, not going to give us any useful information, so that is a no. H, approximately 25% of the finishing times were in the interval 20 to 22. So this is our second quartile between 20 and 22. And yeah, that does look like 25%, so that's looking pretty good. Let's check J. Three quarters of the finishing times were in the interval 15 to 30. So here's my 15, and here's my 30. No, oh, that's the whole thing. That needs to be four-fourths, or 100%. So that is incorrect. My answer is H.